ladies and gentlemen, it's a Relationship Friday. I am KD Bo in the studio with Bishop Flynn Johnson from Atlanta Metro Cathedral. How you doing, sir? Doing great. Good, doing good. great. I, you've been married for 45 years. 45 years. First of all, that's a very long time, sir. It, it doesn't seem like it now, but yeah, Oh, it's that's what they all say. It's true. So you've been been the same woman for 45 years, been uh, you know, eating with the same woman for 45 years, having sex, making love, intimacy yeah. with the same woman for 45 years. And you can get good with that much practice. Okay, so that okay, good, good. Okay, I see where you're going with this. Yes, okay. sir. So speaking of that, intimacy, realistically, life changes, people change. Absolutely. Your body changes, her body changes. Kids, oh, they throw things into chaos. Mm. How do you keep that intimacy there, that spark there? I'd, I'd suggest this. Make her your intimate friend. So no matter what else is going on, kids, jobs, pressures, physical changes, you're always talking. Mm. And, you know, intimacy is impossible without communication. You got to talk to each other. You got to say the things. You know, we all have two conversations going on. The one up here and the one down inside. It's the one inside that creates intimacy when you let it out. But you have to have somebody you trust in order to say the things that you're really feeling and the things that you really mean. Intimacy really is me into me, see? Oh, so you got to really be, so you really can't have true intimacy with somebody that you're not truthful with? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you're not truthful, then you're not being the real you, are you? That's true. And if you're not being the real you, you're giving her somebody you're not. So what happens when you just don't feel comfortable with talking to her? She doesn't feel comfortable with talking to you because, you know, you, you know, you, they step on landmines. I mean, I tell you this, last time I told you this, you went all the way off. And now you're trying to figure yeah. out why the sheets are cold. Yeah, I think you explained it. You can't punish a person for them giving you their truth. Wow. When you do that, you, 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 you blow up the relationship. You know, I had to learn not to punish her because she was telling me what she really saw in me when, and what she really thought. I had to be willing to accept that if it's real to her, it's got to become real to me. Wow. Because, you know, we do have two different perspectives. So if, if, I, if I couldn't accept her reality, then that doesn't say I trust her very much or that I really believe in her that much. So intimacy is being able to give each other your real truth. So real intimacy, or that mind-blowingly good sex, as it were, intimacy, mm. okay, mm. is the end result of something and not the beginning of it. It has less to do with technique and more to do with all the other stuff that you do beforehand, like making sure that she's secure, she trusts you, mm. you trust her, I mean, et cetera, et cetera. And that way, you can be open to each other. Absolutely. That makes sense to me. Absolutely. You know, if you're not good friends, you won't make good lovers. If you can be really good friends in the truest sense of friendship, when we talk about covenant, of being truly transparent and open. Mm. If you can be good friends, then it's a cinch to become good lovers because you can talk about anything. But if you're not good friends and your relationship is where I can get from you or what she can get from me, now there's suspicion and now... There's untruth, and now, you know, you, you, find, you find yourself in combat. Once you start talking real talk, you can, or you can get to the truth, and that truth, yeah, it sets you free to be truly intimate with each other. All right, so if you want amazing intimacy, then it, it's about not just uh, going to the bedroom and getting lingerie and toys and stuff. It really is about uh, being a better person and being friends with that person that, that you're with, right? Being friends and and being close and yeah, telling each other the truth. Absolutely. I wrote her a note the other day. I said, Dear Carolyn, I hate you. Love, Glenn. <laughs> I know you didn't. Yeah, did I did. Oh, man, for real. And what'd she say when she saw it? She just shakes the paper at me. She knows exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> because we, we didn't agree with something or that we had different opinion on something. Okay. Like, you know, so what that means is what, what is magical about marriage is that it can stand our ra outrages with each other as well as our deep intimacies with each other. Marriage can stand that because it's built on commitment and it's built on sacrifice. So if you have that, you can afford to say your real heart. Mm. See, I, I wouldn't tell you how I really feel if I thought you were going to leave. Wow, that's right. But if I knew you were going to stay and I, knew, and I believed you were going to 
re- re- or at least listen to me, oh, I got a shot now. Now we can get to the real talk. We can get to that second conversation underneath, which is where your truth really, really lies. Instead of trying to impress each other, now you're trying to expose yourself to each other, how you really are. So you can come to an understanding. That's a different ballgame. It's good stuff, man. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate you for being here uh, during this series, man. You're a solid dude. You really are. Atlanta Metro Cathedral is his church. Bishop Flynn Johnson, I'm KD Bo. Make some comments below. Share the video and let somebody know that you too can have an amazing, watch this, relationship Friday.